What up? My name is Jay Fox. This is the Made You Looks channel. And today I'm going to be giving you tips on how to look like you have style when you don't. I do plan on making a how to find your style video at some point, maybe even some point soon. But if you just need something that cuts to the chase, if you're just like, you know what, I don't have time to go through a whole, you know, program where I change my closet really fine to my style. I just need some, the cliff notes. I just need something to hold me over because I got something going on this weekend. I got you. Now these are little tips that are going to make you uh, seem like someone who's got it together, who knows what their style is. Even when you don't, let's go ahead and get into the first one. Having a uniform. Think Steve Jobs. Now, is Steve Jobs somewhat necessarily someone that we know for having iconic style? Kind of, yeah. Not because we think it's so amazing and avant-garde and so different, but his uniform is iconic because it became a part of him. And I think that there's something to say about when you know what to expect from someone fashion-wise, style-wise. And you can definitely go with something a little bit more interesting than what Steve Jobs did. And your uniform can be as simple or more, you know, um, unique as possible as much as you want. Also having a uniform just makes things very easy. You already know what to put on in the morning. It doesn't really require you to like go in your closet and take a whole lot of time to figure out what pieces go with this because you already know what the uniform is. Uniforms also make you look very put together. Number two, interesting color combinations. Everyone knows white and black works. Everyone knows black and red or white and gray, whatever. Everybody knows that those work. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't wear those. But I think if you want to enter a room and you want to look like someone who has developed their style, even if you haven't taken the time to do that yet, I think wearing a more interesting color combination shows that you have some knowledge of color theory, which is something that somebody would know if style was something that they were thinking about. So if I saw someone walk in and they had on a red and pink outfit, I'm gonna say, oh, that person knows color. That person knows what colors go well together and that person is considerate of those more unique and more maybe even bold color combinations. Um, maybe try, what, 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 green and blue? Maybe try green and brown? maybe try orange and brown. Like all of these work together. It's just finding the, the shades that work well. And if you pretty much look at a color wheel, it'll do all the work for you. So pick a color on the color wheel and then look at whatever color is on the opposite side of it. Or you can look at the color wheel, pick a color, and then go to one color to the side, whether it be the left or the right. But yeah, this is just a very simple way to show that you are someone who know, who has a knowledge component to clothes. Because anyone can put together an outfit that looks decent, but I think if if you want to assert yourself as someone who is someone who knows style and who knows fashion to some degree, I think that there has to be some type of knowledge component, some type of like fat, tra traditional fashion education there and color theory is definitely like very baseline very easy to like you can definitely like go more in depth if you want to but if you want to just kind of get off your basic understanding of color theory and assert yourself as someone who knows clothes beyond a superficial level, introducing that into your outfits is definitely going to do that for you. Okay, this next one is major and I would say it's probably one of the most important ways to show that you have style even when you don't and that is to find clothes that fit you well. This kind of goes back to the uniform statement uh, that I made earlier because you can definitely find a pair of jeans, like say they're a pair of flare jeans, wide leg jeans, like maybe it's not your, you know, your average straight denim jean, but find whatever pair of jeans or pants, get them in different colors and just make that part of your uniform. Because the thing is, is that when you find something that fits you well, it makes you, it automatically makes you look more put together. I think that, you know, oversized style, you can definitely do that too. But I think that when you are breaking like those traditional you know, style rules about how things should fit. When you're going into like the oversized or more, you know, uniquely crafted, constructed clothes, that's when you're breaking those rules a bit more. But if you wanna just like kind of have a look that is streamlined, that is clean, that is neat, you get what you're trying to do as soon as you look at, as soon as somebody looks at you, or someone guess what you're trying to do, as soon as they look at you, you wanna look like there's been thought put into it, but not too much, you don't wanna look like you're trying too hard. Just wearing clothes that just fit you 
very nicely is going to do the trick. And I'm not saying you need to go to the tailor, I'm not saying you need to go get something custom. You can literally just go to whatever your favorite store is. Or honestly, you probably have it in your closet right now. Everybody has a pair of pants, that shirt, that jacket, whatever, that fits them just perfectly. Pretty much base your outfit around that item. Traditional menswear has definitely gotten this down, to, down packed. Um, I feel like fit, is probably more at the center of menswear than it is with women's wear. I think with women's wear, it's more about finding a fit that is either accentuating something or decentuating something. Whereas men's wear, I feel like the fit is considering um, how to fit the body you already have and make that look great. And the very last tip, the fourth tip I'm going to give you is to focus on the details. Your outfit is not just your shirt and your pants or your dress or your shirt and your skirt. Your outfit includes your accessories, the shoes, um, the fabric content, the the way that your uh, shirt is constructed. Maybe it's got a maybe it's got you know a curved hem on it. Maybe it's got a raw hem on the jeans. Like these are all things that if you want to show yourself as someone who knows what their style is or that has style, having a focus on those details is really what's going to matter. You can take an outfit that's very bummy in essence, right? It's a big, you got a baggy, you know, baggy top, and then you got some baggy pants, cozy, comfy vibes, um, and some beat up sneakers. You can make that look more stylish just by adding a nice little tuck to those pants. Um, and doing little things like that also show that you have style because you're, you're accentuating your proportions or maybe you're highlighting your proportions. Even if it comes down to tucking your shirt in all the way around, it just gives you that more neat kind of put together look and less of a kind of haphazard, you're just kind of throwing something on. It shows that you are really curating an outfit intending to you know the, the specifics of the outfit, which inevitably show style. Maybe have, maybe when you're tucking your pants, wear a really nice belt to separate, you know, give you a nice break from the top and the bottom. The small elements of your outfit that may go overlooked, or you know what, because they're small details, they may not be the center of attention when you're when you're in your outfit, but. Okay, so as I was editing this, I thought of a really good example of what I'm talking about right now, which is Beyonce and what she wore to the Grammys, when she had those big old like gold um, earrings with those nails. Like the dress was pretty simple. The dress honestly, I mean, it fit amazingly and it was beautiful, but it was like really nothing to write home about, but it was the accessories that really like carry the outfit home. And so this is like a good example of what to, of how to utilize your accessories in a way that can fill in the gaps that a simple outfit may not be able to do on its own. Style is also a, a, very closely linked to your confidence and it's about walking into a room and knowing that you've done what you needed to do to get that outfit off and even if someone doesn't notice that ring that you have on or maybe someone didn't notice that that nice little tuck that that french tuck that you had or someone didn't notice uh your selvage jeans because on your cuff you've got that nice little ribbon at the bottom even if someone doesn't notice those things like you knowing that you have them a part of your outfit i feel like is a nice little confidence booster and honestly someone who has a deeper knowledge or appreciation or just interest in style and fashion and clothes is probably going to see you and they're going to get it and so you know like i'm not saying that, that i'm not making this video to show ways that you could impress people necessarily because i think that at the end of the day it's all about you but i think that there is something ego boosting and also really gratifying about someone saying hey I like your outfit and knowing the the attention to detail that you put in it put some respect on your own goddamn name it's what I'm saying all right y'all those are all my tips for how to look your absolute best when you don't know how
Uh, more videos coming out, man. More videos for the summertime. I know I'm like cozy. I got my little cardigan on. I'm cozy right now. But uh, definitely more uh, summer content coming. Hot weather outfits coming. Style tips. Everything. Androgynous wardrobe tips. I got you. This is the place to be. My name is Shay Fox. This is the Made You Looks channel. <laughs> what do we say? After every video, where would you want? Where would you like? I'm right out. See you soon.